you're back with us dito sa Active on IBC. Tabla-tabla ang ating bakbakan, 56 apiece dahil nga naman etong Smart Gilas Pilipinas exploded in that third quarter for 28 points. Labin lima doon galing kay JV Casio. Magandang gabi Pilipinas, magumar John. Kasama natin one of the 25 greatest to ever play the game of basketball si Coach Ronnie Magsano. At yung mga pinahinga ni Coach Rico Toroman kagabi doon sa laban natin kontra Malaysia, ang siyang talagang... Uh, kumalas upang magbigay ng 36 points para sa Team Philippines sa kabuang 56 at the end of the third. Casio with a total of 20, doubt it already with 16 at yan ay sinuportahan ng walong puntos ni Mac Mac Barakael at ni Chris Chu na lahat ay nangyari doon sa third quarter. So napaganda yung sugal ni Coach Raiko Toroman dahil ito si JV Casio. Napulot yung ikatlong personal foul niya sometime in that third quarter. Hindi binunot ni Coach Raiko, pinabayaan niya si Saheg at si JV nga nagmando para makatabla tayo dito. So it is 56 apiece as we enter the final 10 minutes of action at eto ang mga ang resulta o ang history ng uh, Team Pilipinas dito sa Jones Cup. Naghahangad tayo ng ating pang-apat na titulo dito sa mahabang kasaysayan ng Jones Cup samantalang itong kumpanan ng Korea ay nag-champion na rin noong 1999. And on the opening drive para dito sa Smart Gilas Pilipinas minti sa nag resulta Korea looking to make us pay. Tied at 56. Anong i-expect natin dito mula sa Smart Gilas Pilipinas? JV Casio back on the floor but a three-pointer is buried by Yang. So napakasandaling pahinga para kay Casio. At si Coach Michael Toroman deciding si Marcus Dautit ay uh, pansamantalang i-preserve muna. Well, we still expect JV Casio to utilize that double high screen na kung saan ginatasan niya ng gusto yung uh, defensive scheme ng Team Korea. And let's see if Korea, on the other hand, will be able to keep away from being in team penalty. Bagay na nakasakit laban dito sa kupunan ng Korea. Inside-outside attack for Korea. Nets another three-pointer for Kang. Abanggit mo nga na si Douthit on the bench, siguro. Eh, hanggat hindi nakakashoot ng free throw, ito si Ha. Eh, paghihirapan talaga siya ni Asi Taulava. But Korea goes out on the run. This is a 5-0 blast in the first 56 seconds of the fourth. Let's see how Coach Raiko Toroman will continue to hold Marcus Doubted in the bench. Jung Suk Lee now with 5 points. Ang bibilis ng momentum swing sa nakikita natin dito. No? Sa loob ng isang minuto, nagpapalit yung, uh, yung uh, kapalara ng dalawang kapunan. Marakel nasa kanan, kontra kay Moon. Pull up jumper, Mintis. Rebound ni Yuan. 14 to 8 is the assist story, plus 6. Itong Korea, Moon to Ha, goes class! Mintis, TJ Moon for the rebound, huli ni Asi from behind, and Asi clears the board. We needed that stop, could have been a 7-0 run para dito sa Korea. Mamadali ang Gilas Pilipinas, pero ang bilis din ang depensa ng Korea. J.V. Casio will reset this attack. Asi with a pick, Casio for three, bang! Once again, the double high screen play for J.V. Casio, 23 out of the 59 points contributed by J.V. Casio. 61-59, JV Casio, 23 puntos na dito, 18 dyan dito sa second half. Ah, tignan natin yung barometer na pag maganda ang scoring game ni Casio. Napakalusot tayo, we cannot flop anymore, especially on the inside. Hindi na tinatawagan, we have to hold ground and force them to uh, make their shots instead of giving those free layups. Pinura nga lang ni Asi, Asi Taulaba, dinakdak pa. Dinakdak pala yun. Three point around the way once again doesn't work. Asi Taulava keeps it alive. Asi gets the basket plus a foul. Big basket for Asi Taulava. Bonus yan for Coach Raiko Toroman. Two points in the game. Yes. Binawi ka agad niya. Mabilis bumawi si Asi Taulava. At yun ay isang magandang finish laban dito kay Ha. An offensive rebound and a strong putback. Di maitulak ni Asi, no? Ito si Ha. Still good enough for the three-point play opportunity. Asi, bitin nga lang yung free throw. Pero dalawa na lang ulit ang abante ng Korea. Wala na pong pito at kalahati natitira sa bakbakang ito. It's Korea 63, Pilipinas 61. TJ Moon, buta ta ni Asi! Once again, good interior defense coming from Asi Taulava. Asi sa loob, naiwan, gets the basket once again, pero this time around, will it be waved off? Ha, 
Sayang yung pagkakataon para makatabla para sa Team Pilipinas. Oh, yun. Nag-shuffle yung paa. Sayang. Nang hinaya nga si Asi. Oo, oh, gintong pagkakataon. Pero makakapasok naman si Dautit. Yun, smaller man na sana. Nang hinayang tuloy. It is Korea 63, Pilipinas 61. Tutok lang kayo sa aming pagbabalik dito sa Active on IBC. ng ating Smart Gilas Pilipinas heading into day number 5, Coach Ron. Dalawang sunod na panalo kontra Iran at Chinese Taipei bago tayo yumuko sa hamon ng Jordan two days ago at bumalik tayo upang talunan ng Malaysia by 18 points last night and looking forward to beating the challenge of Korea in today's matchup. Dalawa lang po ang abante ng Korea 63-61 as we take a look at JV Casio's numbers na overtake na niya yung top performer doon sa kabila Walang duda sa husay ni J.V. Cashon Slowly but surely has evolved into The best offensive weapon of uh, The Smart Gillers team Of course, aside from uh, The gentle giant na si Marcos Doubthead DJ Moon Off the turnaround Wala, Doubthead taps it over Papunta kay Barakel Cashon na naman na magmamando rito Para sa mga nakaputi ng Gilas Pilipinas Okay, go back to Cashon Ganda naman ang movement without the leather. They probably thought na double high screenplay na naman ang itatawag. But then suddenly, J.V. Cash with the rear cut. Score is tied once again at 63. Dito sa panghuling quarter. 25 big points para dito kay J.V. Cash. Moon down low to ha. Tinutulak ni Douthit. That'll be a foul on Marcus. And that will be foul number 4 against Marcus Douthit. At hindi makapaniwala ang boom bench ng Gilas Pilipinas. Ano pwede mong sabihin eh, itulak mo palabas. Pero gano mo ko, ka, gano ka dapat kabigat para maitulak mo yan? Simpleng bangga-bangga ang nangyari doon. Pinituan si Douthit at win wave off ni Douthit. Yung pagbalik ni Asi Taulava. Sinasabi niya kay Coach Raiko, I'm okay. Sabi ni Coach Raiko, hindi ako susugal. 6.26 pa to. But Asi Taulava has done a tremendous job holding four while Marcus Douthit was on the bench for a for about 6 minutes bridging the 3rd and 4th quarters let's see if Asitao Lava will continue to man that uh, slot really well for Team Pilipinas so far dahil sa kanyang efforts nakatabla tayo at 63 apiece DJ Moon nakawala ng bahagya sinalubong ni Asi they go to the alley-oop for ha huh? kahit saan mo ihagis basta malapit sa ring kayang kaya na ni Han yan ang na alley-oop na nakita ko <laughs> dahil pagsalo diretso sa <laughs> Kahit slow-mo replay mo yun, mabilis pa yan. Kumbaga sa Holland, Joe Lenz. Yun. Pero hindi nakakatuwa yan dahil lumamang na dito ang Korea. J.V. Casio misses on a three. 65-63, lamang na nga ng dalawa ang South Korea. Here's Lee. Naipit doon sa baseline. Balik kay T.J. Moon ang bola. Moon, inatake yung depensa neto ni Lutz. This Lutz just bodying up on T.J. Moon but the officials calling it really tight. Under 6 minutes left dito sa panghuling quarter. Ayan, nice no? pass, no? Kita mo kahit replay, ang bilis, eh, no? <laughs> Nilagay lang talaga sa ring, eh. Pero itong si uh, Kim Jusong hindi na nakabalik, no? Yung uh, power forward ng South Korea. Ha, once again against Asi, jump hook is good. At si Marcus Doutit, nangigigil doon sa bench, hindi makatulong Halos sa Halos salubong na yung kilay dito ni Marcus Doutit. Feeling so helpless. As uh, itong siya showing us a repertoire of his jump hooks. 13 puntos na para kay Ha. Apat ang abante ng Korea. Casio over to Barakael. Back to Casio. Ayaw na bigyan ng espasyo. They go to Lutz for the pull-up jumper. Chris Lutz could not hit. TJ Moon rebound. Si TJ Moon, maski hindi pumupuntos, maraming na itutulong para dito sa Korea. Giving off nice passes. Likewise, helping out on the rebounding. Momentary na nawala itong si Doutit and suddenly Korea with the 4-0 blast So with 5 minutes and 13 seconds remaining here ito si Lutz no choice kung hindi bigyan ng foul si O dahil pag nakasalo nga naman ng ganong kalapit yun ililista mo na Lassiter now back on the floor assigned to defend against yes. TJ Moon Siya ang lockdown defender dito laban kay TJ Moon in the last 5-5 uh, at the 4th Lee with the leather pop out sa kanan si Moon they go down low derecho O Delivers the deuce. Asita Ulava has been assaulted three times in the last few minutes. Let's see if Marcus Doubted will be, will be making his re-entry in the next minute for Gilas. Asho once again in the lane. Mintis. TJ Moon. Yes, Ani mga abante ng Korea. Yung sinasabi natin contribution ni TJ Moon dito. Mag-u. 
dumi depensa, dumi rebound at larong veterano ang pinapakita niya rito para sa Korea. At mula nung huling layup ni JV Casio, dalawang minuto na tayo napako sa 63. And underneath, oh, is hammered once again. And once again, making a conscious effort na atakihin yung frontline defense ng Pilipinas. Dahil they, they, I knew that they had to factor in na wala si Marcus Dautit sa loob to man the slot for Team Philippines. 69-63, ani mga bante ng Korea. Time out muna tayo. Tignan natin kung paano mag-a-adjust ang gila sa aming pagpapalik. At ito na so far ang pinanggalingan ng biyahe ng Smart Gilas Pilipinas at ang ating patutunguan. Hinahabol ulit natin, papaalala natin. Top 4 para makapasok sa Final 4 na lalaroin sa Sabado. At hanggat maaari talagang inaasam-asam mo yung top spot para makaharap mo yung pang-apat na kuponan at uh, mas maganda yung chances. The Philippines won its first two games. Dumapa tayo sa Jordan. Nakalusot tayo laban sa Malaysia. At tinitingnan natin kung kaya natin itumba itong team ng Korea bago natin harapin ang UAE at ang Japan para tapusin ang ating uh, kampanya dito sa elimination round. At tanda natin, ang Korea na lang ang natitirang walang talo, wala pang bahid ang record. They come into day number 5 at 4-0 sa win-loss record. Pero in the last couple of minutes, scoreless ang Pilipinas. Kaya naman, yung uh, mga Pilipino, the Gilas faithful who have flocked to the Shinshuang Stadium, nakasalampak na sa kanilang mga silya. At bumira ng 6-0 blast itong uh, kuponan ng Korea. Make that 7-0. Oo, inatake yung frontline defense, inatake yung shaded area. At ngayon, tumatama na sila from the free throw line kaninang third quarter. Napakarami nila ng minintes. And again, an 8-point lead for Korea heading into the last 4 and 23 of the final quarter. So huling basket pa rin natin, yung knockout layup na galing kay JV Casio. Ano pa rin natin, makabutas ulit tayo. Douthlet back on the floor. Mintis, TJ Moon for the rebound. Kailangan natin yung basket na yon dahil may pagkakataon na naman ang kapunan ng Korea dito na magposte ng twin digit lead. Ayan na nga po, nablanco tayo, 0 for 4 in the last few minutes here. In Chinese Taipei, Maracael gives up the foul. Ayan mo, every possession na lang sa post ang bigay nila. Hindi na sila nag-off screen, hindi na sila nag-ball screen. Dahil sa narecognize nila na single coverage lamang tayo sa poste every time, pinapaatake nila ngayon ang kanilang mga power forwards. Pang limang team foul na yan para sa Gilas Pilipinas dito sa fourth quarter. Lassiter pala on the reach yun ang pinituan doon. Alam mo, magutuwing na over the limit ka, nasa disadvantage ka. Because every time you give up a foul, you will give up two free throws. And the way Korea shooting later in the fourth, mabigat. Dahil those are easy points para dito sa mga good shooters ng Korea. Kumbaga, eh, naubos na ng Korea yung mga mintis nila nung third quarter run ng Gilas Pilipinas. Dito, eh, sinisigurado na nila yung kanilang mga fito. Mantakin mo naman, tinrabaho mo ng isang quarter at kalahate para mabura yung siyam na puntos na kalamangan. Nakatabla ka, nakalamang ka, subalit dahil sa foul trouble, eto, abante naman ng Korea dito ng sampung puntos. Oh, now with 19 points in this game, at yan nga po, 73-63, wala ng apat na minuto na titira. Gilas Pilipinas looking to break out of the shooting slump on this offensive. They go to Baracael, top of the key, douth it to the baseline. Douth it against Sa, back to Baracael for a three, bang! The Philippines looking for one more run. And Baracael very steady from the outside, once again showing up at the right time. Pito pa rin ang ahabulin dito ng Team Pilipinas. DJ Moon looking to attack. Kick out pass niya as Korea will try and waste away a little bit of time. Muna naman ang tumanggap ng bola. Lasseter all over him. They go to the post. Oh, nakita si Ha! And JV Casio from behind will give up the foul. Pang-apat yan para kay JV. At muli si TJ Moon gumawa ng paraan. Binigay na naman niya yung bola sa poste. And we had no recourse but to help. At itong si Ha maganda yung recognition. Kumat straight to the basket. Muntik na maagaw pero napituhan. But let's see kung patuloy ang pagmimintis dito ni Ha from the free throw line. So, tig-apat na ang foul ni Casio at ni Douthit. Ha? Had his troubles in the third quarter at yun na nga, patuloy ang pagmintis niya dito sa fourth. At buhay pa ang ating pag-asa na makabalik dito bago matapos ang uh, final buzzer. Ha? Finally delivering ano a free siya? throw. Ano na siya? 2 of 10, ano? 2 of 10. Mga ganun, no? 74-66. Gilas Pilipinas on the attack. 2 of 8. Ayun, para dito kay Ha? And TJ Moon has whistled for a foul away from play. Has played extensive minutes after only playing about seven minutes yesterday in winning that game 
as quicker of a game against Japan as we see Coach Herjay still stoic on the sidelines. Jumper Bintis, TJ Moon clears it. Nagsisim nagsisimula na magbintis si JV Cash or perhaps due to fatigue. Baka napagod na, naubos Ay, na. Ay grabe no? yung kinayod niya kanina talaga. 20 of his 25 points para kay Casio dito sa second half. 2 of 5 na lamang siya dito sa fourth. Moon, gumawa na naman ng paraan. Three-pointer, Mintis. And an opportunity para sa Gilas Pilipinas na makalapit. Under three minutes remaining. Baraka L, excellent feed coming from Chu. Baraka L will never give up. And just, that seems to be the attitude right now para dito sa ating smart Gilas team. Understanding. What is what is at stake here? Should we drop this game against this team, Korea? Wala na pong dalawat kalate na titira. Ah, ani mga abante ng Korea. They go to ha once again. Na bitawan yung pasa. Ang maliwanag dito. Should have been a lab pass. Yun ang motion ng coaching staff. That pass was too low for ha to be able to retrieve. Here we go. A three-pointer will cut this deficit to a single possession. Kinatin douse it with a pick. JV. Looking to extricate himself. Casio to douse it on the run. Douse it na ipit. Nilabas. Three point around the way. No good. Barakel keeps it alive. Para sa Gilas Pilipinas. Casio at the two minute warning. Mintis yung layup pero merong foul. Puffing and puffing. Looking to inch. Help the Philippines inch closer to Korea who are ahead. By a two possession advantage. 74-68, a minute and 57 remaining. Dito sa bakbakan Korea at Pilipinas, meron mo ng timeout on the floor. Tutok lang kayo, tignan natin kung ano ang conclusion sa aming pagbabalik. At ayan nga po, yung naging performance ni JV Casio dito sa second half. 20 of his 25 points delivered after the turn. Kaya nagkaroon ng napakagandang laban dito ang Smart Gilas Pilipinas. Over one-third ng total production ng ating uh, koponan ay uh, kinamada rito ni JV Casio. Ang isa sa pinaka magandang uh, individual scoring efforts ay uh, hinandog ni Yusuke Okada ng Japan who fired the total of 33 points but 25 points for someone who is this small. But definitely playing fearless basketball is simply awesome. Ito, pagkakataong basagin ng sarili niyang katahimikan in the last 5 minutes, delivers on the first free throw. Another made free throw and a defensive stop on the other end. It's just a two-possession game at this point, Coach Ronnie. Coach Raiko to Roman, shuttling back and forth. Just uh, pondering some thoughts on timeouts that he has left. Defensive schemes that he needs in the last minute and 57 smart gilas pilipinas looking for a stop 74 70 a minute and 50 remaining korea on the attack babalik sila sa poste kay o barakel all over o they go outside taken away by lassiter ang problema na traveling siya my goodness almost a fast break for team philippines zio lassiter playing the passing lane Oh yes. Na babol niya, no? Na babol oh, na takam ng gigel si Zio. Fresh 24. So a welcome for break. Korea. Oh, oh, para dito sa South Korea. A chance to push the lead to 6, maybe even 7. Makakapukol sila ng 3. Korea wasting away the time. They go to the wing. Oh, offering the pick. Ngayon siya ang nasa poste. Oh, with five to shoot. Attacking Baraka L. Oh, Mintis oh. High there to clean it up. This time si Oh, talagang mindset niya umatake na because he knew that if he missed, Ha will be at the weak side. Another ah. two possession lead for Korea. Oh! Quick hands on the part of the Koreans. And Smart Gilas now will need an even bigger stop this time around as they are down by six. He cannot afford to give up a basket. And on the sideline, makita mo si Coach Herjay motioning to his players. Ubusin yung oras, run out the time, and then go to your bailout options. They go to the post. Oh, pull-up jumper. Wala. Ito na ang Team Pilipinas. They want to go quick on this offensive. Pepreno, JV for three. No. Marcus Nathan keeps it alive. Pasa niya na. Tapik na naman ni TJ Moon. And now with the 31 seconds, Will Pilipinas be forced to give up a foul? They have to. TJ Moon killing the chances of Team Pilipinas. Almost a steal there. 
with 23.2 seconds remaining here, Coach Ronnie. Five turnovers in the quarter for Team Pilipinas. Three in the last minute. And those definitely hurt the chances of our team to be able to turn things around. So 23.2 seconds remaining. Korea will be inbounding from the sideline. Anim na puntos kalamangan nila. So pag hindi na ang steal, automatic. We cannot waste away time. Kailangan automatic foul. Tumawag ng timeout dito for Korea. Definitely a good throw-in is something that they need. And they are trying to anticipate a trap by Team Philippines bago mag-give up ng foul. Gusto mo mapunta yung inbound na yan dun sa magaling from retro para sa Korea. Where for Team Philippines, they're looking for a steal. If not, give up a quick foul right away to stop the time. At ito ang nangyari so far here in the th fourth quarter, Coach Rani. And definitely, Korea playing much, much better in the fourth after scoring only 14 points and giving up 25 to Team Philippines in the third, but here in the fourth. You have the big guys attacking the interior. You have the big guys milking the fact that uh, itong si uh, Marcus Doubted was saddled with four personal fouls. And eventually, JV Casio hindi nangangayaw, makmak para kayo, walang kasing tapang. Pero Korea still has that slight experience over Team Philippines, kaya sila ay poste pa rin ng anim na puntos na kalamangan. So itong South Korea looking to stay unbeaten, looking for win number five dito sa Jones Cup. And they are just 23.2 seconds away, barring a minor miracle galing sa Gilas, Pilipinas. Barring a meltdown, Korea is headed for its, uh, to protect its unblemished record. Samantalang itong kupunan ng Pilipinas, I'm sure, has learned a lot of things from today's match. At yan ang kanilang tatanganan sa kanilang pag, muling pagharap pagdating sa Asian Championships sa Wuhan, Hubei, China sa darating na September. 76-70 na sa ating talan. Sideline inbound. TJ Moon will be fouled in the backcourt by Lasseter. TJ Moon may not have uh, produced big numbers on offense. But sabi nga natin, yung maliliit na bagay, ang dami yung contribusyon. Playing tough defense, getting big rebounds, giving good entry passes doon sa interior. At uh, he has been a consummate team player today for Coach Herjay. And with uh, just one free throw here, ay magiging three possession ball game tayo. TJ Moon make sure of that one. Matagal nang walang basket yan from the free throw line or even from the perimeter. And uh, you would think that pwedeng-pwede nating mailusot. Tumabla na tayo, umabante tayo, but we just could not sustain it and finish off this very tough play in Korea. A double-double performance already para kay TJ Moon. Goes two for two. Kilas Pilipinas, nagahanap na Milagro. Down by eight points, dying seconds of this game. Chris Ju gets into the front court to doubt it. Bullet pass underneath, broken up, and that should do it. South Korea will remain unbeaten dito sa 33rd edition ng inyong William Jones Cup as they will pick up their fifth consecutive win. Final score, 78 para sa Korea, 70 para sa Pilipinas. Tough stand by Smart Gilas. But definitely, we will remember all of those six turnovers that we committed in the fourth quarter because definitely, it hurt our chances to limit those 22 points and increase those 14 points that we've had here in the final quarter. Smart Gilas had their chances, but the breaks going the way of the Koreans. Uh, all is not lost. Uh, kahit si Coach Raiko Toroman is still working the referees here. Hindi pa rin siya makapaniwala sa kanyang uh, pagkakausap. <laughs> And si Coach Herjay, stoic as ever, just walking out of the gym and perhaps very happy with the effort of his boys to be able to withstand this very tough challenge posed today by the Filipinos. 78-70 ang ating final score. Bukas may pagkakataon makabawi na naman ang Pilipinas. Salasin ko na nga po, United Arab Emirates ang ating makakalaban. At yan na nga po ang ating uh, litrato ng ating biyahe so far. At patuloy na mamamayagpag ang kuponan ng Korea with 5 wins and not a single loss. Samantalang ang Team Pilipinas will drop down to 3-2 and two heading into the last two games. At bukas din, uh, ayan po, uh, Korea makakatapat naman ng Jordan. Second game of the day yan dito lang sa Active on IBC pagkatapos ng bakbakang UAE at Pilipinas. Up next, it'll be Jordan taking on Japan sa ngala ni Coach Ronnie Magsano at sa lahat ng bumubo ng ating coverage team headed ng ating pagmamando ng ating boss na si Russell Torres. Magumar John, nagpapasalamat sa inyong panonood. Jordan and